talk about setting up a new computer using a bulk software installer. Now this is a fresh install of Windows XP. This would work the same on Windows Vista or Windows 7. I have the program files folder open so you can see I only have a couple applications installed on here. Now when you set up a new computer there's lots of different applications that you have to install. Some of them are free and there's a really cool way that you can do this. If I go to my browser to a site called Ninite.com They allow you to create a bulk installer which will install multiple applications at once. Now all these applications are free but some of them are some of the best applications or my favorite applications to use. So they have them broken out into several categories. Browsers, I'm going to pick um, Chrome. I already have Firefox on here but I could pick Firefox. Um, let's say I wanted an instant messaging program. I could take Skype or Digsby. Uh, I'll take Pigeon. Uh, media players, if I wanted to install iTunes, um, VLC, Songbird, which is a really great iTunes alternative, I could pick that. If I needed a graphics software, I could use Paint.net, Picasa, Gimp, um, Irfan View, pick that. Bunch of different ones. Uh, documents, so I want to put a PDF reader here. Foxit Reader is probably the lightest, best PDF reader out there. Uh, don't ever use Adobe Acrobat Reader, it's horrendous. Cute PDF, this allows you to write PDFs, and OpenOffice will allow you to run a free OpenOffice suite. Uh, security, I'm going to select My Essentials and uh, AVG as the antivirus. There's spyware removers on there. Now if you want to install Flash, Java, .NET, or Silverlight, any of these, you can select them and install them. File sharing, so if you wanted to use a BitTorrent client or a peer-to-peer -peer client, they have uTorrent and Emule, which are both excellent. Dropbox and Evernote, two of my favorite applications. There are utilities, so ImageBurn. This allows you to work with uh, image files, CD images or disk images, CCleaner, uh, Defraggler, CD Burner XP, Real VNC, which is a VNC tool, Launchy, so just lots of different applications. Uh, 7-Zip, there's a trial of WinRAR, I wouldn't download any of the trials, but 7-Zip is here, and then uh, FileZilla, which is an FTP client, Notepad++, so you could just select all the ones you want, and now when you're done, you just click Get Installer, and it shows you all the applications that you've selected. If you want to change it, you can go back and add or remove ones. And when you're ready, you just click to download it. And I'm going to save it to my desktop. And that's it. Now you don't actually download all those applications now. What you download is a piece of software that will run the whole batch install and it will go grab the downloads as they're needed. puts all the different applications that you selected into the name so you know what you selected. Now you just double click this and select run. Now once it starts downloading the applications if you click show details it will show you what's downloading and what's installing so you can monitor the progress of your entire install. So as one application install completes, it just seamlessly skips over to the next one. You don't have to click any buttons once you click the Run button. When the final application that you've selected is done installing, it will tell you Finished, and you can just click Close. And there you have it. All your applications will be installed. You can click on any of them to open them up. And you can see if I open up the folder on the hard drive where the programs are located, you see all the new applications that were installed in here. So it's a really handy way if you're doing a clean install of a Windows operating system, whether it's XP or Vista or Windows 7, to grab a bunch of excellent high quality free applications and install them basically in about three clicks without any of your paying attention. So, night night.